And if you take on aquaponics as a practice, you are saving the oceans. You are conserving our world's water supply. You are feeding humanity. And the best way to do it, and the best way to build up your confidence is just to get started. Hey, I'm Sam Fleming, the co-founder and executive director of a nonprofit called 100 Gardens. And we install and implement aquaponics programs in schools and correctional centers. The thing that is really exciting to me about aquaponics is that it really is a solution for a lot of our biggest pressing issues right now. We're 30 years away from a complete collapse of all of our major seafood species. Um, we're running out of fresh water globally and we have 2 billion additional people that we're going to have to figure out how to feed within the next 30 years. And when you combine all these together, it becomes really apparent why aquaponics is such a great solution. Because we can grow fish on land and we can provide a ton of produce for a growing population. One of the things that really got me into doing this in the educational setting is I was very disengaged as a student in our public schools here. And I realized after leaving school and thinking that I wasn't very good at a lot of things, that really what I was lacking was the hands-on experience and the real tangible connection to what I was learning. For instance, pH, I forgot what that meant after ninth grade biology. Never remembered it again until I got back into aquaponics or into aquaponics for the first time. And now pH has a totally different meaning to me because if it's not correct, plants go deficient, the fish could die, the bacteria doesn't work well. And this is how you connect education and how you get students engaged is by making what you learn in the classroom actually mean something. Uh, in terms of the future of aquaponics, and this is what's really exciting, is that, you know, 30 years ago, all this stuff was not figured out yet. And we living in this present moment have all the information we need to be able to take the industry forward. For example, we have aquaponics programs in 15 schools. This is one of them. Students operate this lab. So you have students who have only known about aquaponics for two or three months, and they're growing 132 heads of lettuce every single week for a restaurant. So if you're on the fence out there about whether or not you want to start an aquaponics operation or whether or not you can operate one, remember that all the hard work's been figured out by people way smarter than us. And the information's out there. For instance, you can get all the University of the Virgin Islands aquaponics information online for free. That's what we did to design um, our whole system and all the systems we have in place. It works essentially like clockwork as long as you have a controlled environment to grow in. So my advice to any student or any person out there who's interested in aquaponics is adopt a readily available model like the UVI model and just start doing it and figuring it out and start selling or distributing produce into your community. And if you take on aquaponics as a practice, you are saving the oceans. You are conserving our world's water supply. You are feeding humanity. And the best way to do it, and the best way to build up your confidence is just to get started. So we do have the power within us to be able to change education, to be able to change our outcomes for humanity, and to be able to provide food for everybody here without screwing up the planet. And in my opinion, aquaponics is one of the major sort of pieces of the puzzle that helps us figure that out.